Hello, everybody. Um, God has risen up to finish the work. How can we say out of our mouths that we believe that we are in the last days, the last hours, the last minutes? We know it. We know what the word says. We can see the signs around us. So how can we not look at the word where God says he has risen up to finish the work? Don't they go hand in hand? Well, do we have faith to believe? God tells us his word is prophecy. That's why if you're in a church that does not look at the end times, I feel bad for you. Where is the excitement of knowing what is happening? What is, what is going on all around us? It is life's blood. When we see the word of God brought alive. Now, your pastor, I pray it would be like what the pastor that we have, Pastor Lathan, preaching the cross of Jesus Christ because there's no other way. And then letting the body of Christ know and understand what is happening. Well, we know that the word is prophetic. We have to have faith and our, our ear to God's heart to hear and understand what the word is telling us. But as we spend time with him, as we die to ourselves and pick up our cross daily, we can be assured to hear his voice, to know his leading. And then a telltale sign is you won't be able to keep your mouth closed. You will want to tell others. One, so that they will be saved, come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, but also to stay awake, be alert to what is going on. So let's look at these. I've got lots of scriptures here, and I'm also going to be reading. I write in my journal um, things that as, as scriptures mean something to me. So I'm going to also be reading out of my journal to you. But let's look here at Luke 13. Um, chapter 13, we're going to look at 24 and 25. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and hath shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Why doesn't it just say that the master of the house shuts the door? It first says he is risen up. Okay, that's in the New Testament. All right, right here in Luke. There's a reason. I have a cross reference to Zechariah 2.13. Let's look at Zechariah 2.13. We're going to read Zechariah 2, um, 12 and 13. And the Lord shall inherit Judah, his portion in the Holy Land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. This is in Zechariah 2, 12 and 13. It says, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Hallelujah. What I thought was neat, when the Lord first showed this scripture to me and brought it alive to me back in February of 2018, here, May 14th of 2018, it was when Jerusalem was chosen again to be the capital of Israel. I thought, I think that is incredible. Hallelujah. God's word is alive, everybody. Oh, he'll speak to us. Do we have our ear to his heart to hear what he is saying to us? I've got written here that the, when the Lord arises, just imagine, picture Oh, we can't. We can't even fathom. 
when he arises up, you talk about the earth shaking. There was a marked notice that happened. Did we feel it? Did we know? Did we notice? The Lord arises, raised up out of his holy habitation as a man entering with resolution upon a business that he will go through with to complete. Hallelujah. Do we believe that at any time the rapture is going to take place? Do we believe? Do we see the signs of the tribulation shadowing upon us? Then we've got to believe that God is raised up and is getting ready to finish the work. It's his work, everyone. He is about to do something unusual, unexpected, and very surprising and to plead his people's cause, which has longed, seemed, neglected. God has seen it all. He will make things right. Be assured of that. We need to accept his holy will and patiently wait the issue as those who are assured that when God is raised up out of his holy habitation, he will not retreat nor sit back down till he has accomplished his whole work. Hallelujah. Think I'm silly all you want, but I bet there's many that are, are amen and out there with me that you also believe it and know it and see it. I truly believe it. Isaiah 28, 21, and let's read it. 21 and 28. For the Lord shall rise up in Mount Perizim. He shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange work. Act we've never seen before on the face of the earth. What we well, we won't see it. We'll be with him in heaven. But what will be being done during the tribulation? It is unbeknownst so far to mankind. But that is what is shadowing. Verse 22. Now, therefore, be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. And it will affect the whole earth. A consumption means a completion, a destruction. To rise up means to perform, to finish it out, a completion. I truly believe that we are in the last of the last days. So do we not believe that God has risen up to complete the work? I don't see how we can believe one and not believe the other. Then let's look here at Isaiah 2, 19 and 20 and 21. Let me turn here. See, I should have had these marked. And I do, but sometimes I jump all around. Isaiah 2, 19. Okay, here we go. And they shall go into the, so into the holes of the rocks. I'm sorry about that. Into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. Isn't that what's going to happen? Isn't that what is about to happen, everyone? In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats, to go into the clefts of the, of the rocks and to the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of the Lord. And for the glory of his majesty, 
when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. They will find that those idols of gold, those idols of silver, won't do them any good. We better examine ourselves. Are we clinging to idols of gold, idols of silver, idols of 501, or uh, uh, what do they call them? 401ks, retirement. Are we clinging to those things? They won't do us any good for what lies ahead. It will not do us any good. We have got to be clinging to Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Are we proclaiming what is about to happen? We have got to be, everybody. We see all around us the signs happening. In Psalms 12, 5, For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now I, I will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. Hallelujah. Zephaniah 3, 8, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fierce, with the fire of my jealousy. That was Zephaniah 3, eight. Determination means a judgment. Indignation is his anger, fury, God's displeasure with sin, to froth at the mouth. Look these words up. This is what they mean. And yet, there are churches that are still preaching to get your gain on this earth. Health, wealth, be happy, plentiful on this earth. Guys, we better be severing every tether that we have with this place because it is founded for destruction. That is what God has arisen for. This is what he will be accomplishing is those who have rejected his son, Jesus Christ, and they have wanted this earth, this world's pleasures this is where they find their pleasure on this earth. He's going to let them have it. But they will have his wrath with it. Because this world, I've told my children from the get-go, we tell the children at the youth center, look around you. Everything you see will be burned, will be destroyed utterly. Why love it? Why invest in it? Have your investment in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the eternal, because that's all that you are guaranteed. Do we understand? Guys, I truly believe God has risen up to finish the work. We can't say that we believe we're in the last moments, in the last days, and not realize that that means then the scriptures and this is, I could have sat here and read several more. Look up the scriptures about God having risen up, that he has already risen up, and why he arises. It is to finish the work that he began. That's what we are about to see. We better be right with Jesus Christ, or else we will be left behind. We will be lost and utter destruction will be upon us. Make sure you're in a church that's preaching that. Father, I thank you for all those that you will have watched this. I thank you for your word. It is alive. You tell us because it is prophetic. You tell us that you will share with your servants your word as to what you are doing. Your word is prophecy. Will we believe? Do we have faith to believe? Help keep us anchored in you, Lord Jesus. And if any watch this that do not know you as their Lord and Savior, Father, may they repent of their sin. Pick up their cross today. 
now and follow you for there is no other ground. Everything else is sinking sand. Jesus Christ is the only rock. But that rock is soon to come and befall and smash to smithereens this earth and all those who love it and love its ways. May we be found in you, abiding in you, Lord Jesus. Father, I plead the blood upon all that would watch this. Every lying spirit to be brought down and your word to go forth. Set those free, Father. Increase our faith to believe. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.